Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to uh, the City Hall here in Hull. Thanks very much for coming. It's always great to see such a fantastic turnout here. Um, the weather is now brightening up. This is the first part of our activity for today. After this, Kel Brook, Luke Campbell, Tommy Coyle will be out giving everybody a public open workout filmed for the media outside just in the city square. We've got three weeks today till certainly I believe the biggest boxing event ever been put on in Hull. One of the biggest boxing events I think we've ever put on at Matrim, certainly since, since my involvement with the sport. This card, this show has grown into a huge event with so many great fighters on the bill. Of course, culminating in your very own Luke Campbell making his professional debut. And of course, I think we should give a quick round of applause for him collecting his MBE. I'm going to um, speak briefly to the top table very shortly. Um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about the card itself. Obviously, going through the table here today, we've got a lot of top young talent from Hull boxing on the card as well as some of the finest talent in British and world boxing as well. Down the end there, two bright young sparks from, from the area, Joel Haig and Zach Collins will be fighting on the bill. To his right, you know, one of the great fighters the country's ever produced, Jamie Moore, Sky Pundit, and also Tommy Coyle's uh, coach. Tommy Coyle, very popular lad, and his dad's here. Thank you for all your work on the stall with the tickets, top man. In one of the most hotly anticipated domestic bouts I think we've seen in a while, and if you don't follow them on Twitter, make sure you do, because the banter is absolutely first class. He's taking on Derry Matthews for the Commonwealth lightweight title, and Derry's promoter Dave Coldwell. Also, not with us today, we've got a very, very special talent in Lee Selby. I believe he's a future world champion for this country, taking on WBC number four, L'Oreal Simeon for the WBC international title. We've got Rocky Fielding defending his English uh, super, super middleweight title. We've got Curtis Woodhouse also in action. And I'm delighted to welcome back, in my opinion, one of the, the biggest stars of British boxing, the special one, Kel Brook, who will be fighting in Hull, rematching Carson Jones in one of their 2012 fights of the year. Kel is the number one ranked welterweight. He uh, was due to fight Devon Alexander for the world title earlier this year, unfortunately had to pull out with injury. But you're going to see someone very, very special on July the 13th at Craven Park because Kel Brook is back to make a huge statement in a fight that's going to springboard him back to that world title shot. So we've got three weeks today, Craven Park, tickets are going great. We encourage you to tell your friends. And uh, having spent some time around Luke Campbell this week, I can tell you that you've got every chance to have a world champion from Hull. I think this kid is dedicated, he's talented. Somehow he's good looking as well. You know, I don't know how he's blessed with all these talents. But really we've got a standout character and personality who I think the city should be very proud of. And speaking on behalf of British boxing, I'm so pleased that we've finally got a chance of a real crossover superstar. And the fact that he's from your city, you should be very proud and spread the word because this is the, the beginning of a journey, I believe, of a future world champion from Hull. Um, just to say a few words, I'm going to ask a couple of guys to speak. And um, firstly, I just want to hear from Tommy Coyle about this fight, upcoming fight with Derry, preparations, and um, three weeks to go. Yeah, three weeks to go. Um, training's gone well, as it should have done. just want to thank you for putting on the show and to Luke, you know, on his success. This show wouldn't be possible if Luke hadn't done so well in the Olympics. So, top man. You know, it's going to be an absolute belter of a night um, down at KR's ground. You know, we've got a top fight, me and Derry. It's going to be a brilliant fight. You know, definitely, definitely, there'll be some fireworks. Um, you know, I've heard Luke's in great condition, so I'm sure his fight will be brilliant. Two to my left here, you know, prospects up and coming. It's just going to be a great night, and I'm just very, very pleased I'm going to be a part of it. And talk about pressure for this. Obviously, it's the biggest fight of your career. Boxing in front of eight, nine, ten thousand. 10,000 in Hull, outdoors, in a huge title fight? Yeah, th there's pressure, but I'm hoping I'm going to thrive off that, and I'm sure I will. Um, I've got a great team around me, you know, a great team around me that believes in me. Um, you know, all, all them fans in all are going to be shouting my name, not his. Um, and I think it'll just spur me on. 
and um, I'm very, very convinced I'll get a win. And Jamie, your, your first uh, night as a trainer in a, in a major title fight, I believe, with Tommy. Looking good in training? Yeah, he's looking really well. Um, come, up, come around as a little bit of a co coincidence you know, uh, when Tommy left Stephen Smith and Steve Wood manages him and asked me if I'd get involved in training him. Now, I didn't really plan on getting involved into, the, into training people until later on in, in life when my kids grew, grew up and stuff. But Tommy came down, I did a, a, a bit of work with him and I was really impressed with what I seen. And unfortunately, two fights down the line, he ends up fighting a mate of mine, who's Derry Matthews, which is a very awkward situation for me. But at the end of the day, you know, you, you've got to be professional about it. I've, I've been in the, the exact same situation when I was boxing, when I fought Matthew Macklin, Billy Graham was, was a close mate of mine and he was training Macklin to beat me. So I understand the situation. I'm glad, I'm glad I've had that experience in that situation, which makes it a little bit easy because we're still, you know, me and Billy are still friends now and uh, I'm sure me and Daddy will, will sort of kiss and make up afterwards. But, you know, first and foremost, it's business. Dave Colwell's, um, I'm, I'm an employee of Colwell TV as well, and uh, I do a lot of work with him, and, and well, Dave is he's Daddy's uh, promoter. So, so, yeah, it's an awkward situation, but I'm sure we'll all have a bear afterwards, win or lose. And, uh, Dave, thanks very much for working with us again on this show. Always a pleasure, and uh, expecting a great fight, Derry, is, I think, a great ambassador for British boxing, never turns a fight down, always up for a challenge. He's coming into, effectively, the Lions then to try and win this Commonwealth title and uh, expecting a great fight. I can't wait. Um, personally speaking, when, you know, when we spoke about making this fight, it, was just, it just had to happen. It, it's a fight where you know, you've got two personalities. It's not just about two fighters that go in there and can put on a performance. You've got two kids here that, that can talk, that have, that, you know, they're amiable with the fans, fans can approach them and, and at the end of the day they go in there and they put everything on the line. Tommy Coyle's, you know, he's, he's had a good career so far, um, he's done everything that's been asked of him. In his last fight, his first fight with Jamie, I thought he looked really, really good. Without a doubt the best performance that, you know, of his career from what I've seen as well. Um, can't fault that performance, you know. Um, Derry, Derry's fought at a different level. I just think Derry, um, He's a real fighter, he's, he's had ups, he's had downs, but he knows what it's like to be hit and hurt. He knows what it's like to be uh, cut, to be bleeding. He's, he's, he's faced every, every possibility in a ring. Um, and he's faced it at a higher level as well. And I think that is what the key is for this fight. I think when um, people get out of a ring with Derry Matthews, I think the first thing that they, they, say, they tend to see uh, and say is that they're surprised at how hard he is. It doesn't look, if you look at him, he doesn't look like he's a big puncher. He doesn't look like, you know, he can hit you with every single shot, and he can. And I think that's the thing that Tommy's going to find when, when he gets in the ring. It's going to be a great fight. It's going to be a great fight while it lasts, you know. Um, I know Jamie. I know, I know how, how Jamie um, was dedicated and, and worked hard as a fighter, and, and I know he's doing that as a, as a trainer, you know. Um, like I say, you, 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 you see, the thing is, Dave... You, ex you're exactly right what you said about Derry. You know, um, he, he's been there, he's done it. He, and I, I know Derry, you know, more than anyone. I've been there, I sat there and watched him beat a mate of mine, Steve Foster. I know how good he is. And that's the difference. We know how good Derry is. We don't underestimate him. We know how hard he punches. Do you know no how good Tommy no is? No one knows how good Tommy Coyle is. The question so, is, do you know what? Li and listen, I'm not, I'm not saying, is, I'm not saying he, will, he will definitely beat Derry. What I'm saying is, no one knows how good he is, and let's see how good he is. No, we, Definitely. We, uh, like you say, we, we, don't know how, we don't know how good Tommy is yet. We know how good Tommy thinks he is, but there's a, there's a, there's a difference between thinking that you're that and actually going there and course, getting hit listen, on the chin. Come July 13th, I'll prove to you, Derry, and all these fans that are going to turn up as well. Derry's got miles on the clock. I ain't got none on my clock. Let me tell you that. I'm fresh and I'm ready, and I'm putting him to bed. Do you know, have you ever seen a VW? What's you that? Stick all miles on a clock on a VW that you want. Don't make any difference. I you couldn't hear you, Dave. You Sorry, say that again. <laughs> you box one person. You box one person with a pulse, and you got beaten. Everyone else you boxed have never had a winning record. You haven't been tested. You don't think you've been put down in a fight. I know you have a lot of times in sparring, but you know, come fight night, mate. You're in deep, deep water. Yeah, it's, ex hey. it's exactly the same as when 
I boxed Anthony Collar the first time. I said to them, well, I'm going to hurt you, I'm going to cut you, put you over. And I've done everything I've done, and I'm going to do the same to you. Hey, look, I agree, prize fighter, yeah, but you got to look back. 73% of the viewing public said I'd won that fight. It wasn't a great performance. I didn't argue with the decision. It was a three-round fight. It was a sprint. This is a 12-round fight. And let me Have tell you done you, 12 rounds before? No, I haven't. How many times have you done them? How many miles on the clock have you got? It's not about that. What? What's miles you even look it? old. How much experience I've got to you? Eh? Experience is going to play a massive well, look, we'll part. We'll see. Let's cut the rubbish. Three weeks, we'll see, won't we? After six rounds, you're going to say, why have I been involved in this fight? Nah, never. I've done Trust too me. much hard graft. Trust me. Well, we'll see, won't we? And your last fight where you performed, what weight was you? What's that? Your last f fight when you performed. What weight was you? The last fight I just yeah. had. 10-4, I thought that. There you go. That's big, why you performed. Big difference making lightweight. Big difference making lightweight. A big, big difference making lightweight. Yeah, nine stone nine. Not a problem all day long. I live okay. the life. I'm disciplined. I get down there. Not a problem at all. Listen, you ain't going to ever... You've never been belted as hard as I'm going to belt you. Is that, is that the Let best nutritionist in... One, one of the best nutritionists so, in the world can get a case helping Jay, along. Jamie, Jamie, so... You you just, nutritionist can't help him when he gets hit on chin by Derry Matthews. Look, I totally agree. <laughs> but so you're, you're saying you're, you're the biggest hitter that boxed? Listen, I believe when I belt you, you Come ain't going to like me. it and you're going to fold, trust you're, me. You're, you're not kidding me and you're trying to kid them. You're not the biggest puncher. Steve, you're going on about Steve Foster being the biggest puncher. You sent me a picture on Twitter saying, this is the team. He's still got a headache since I boxed him. That was about eight years ago. We just train alongside Steve Foster. You said, this is the team, what's going to beat you? I beat Steve Foster eight years ago. Yep. Come on. How many years ago? About six to eight years ago. Exactly. exactly. Eight years down the line, exactly. everybody I've, gets old. I've been there. I've been there and I've done it and I'm still going to do it. Listen, I'm gonna everybody you gets old. In your own town, in front of your own fans. And then they'll realise, for the last few years, you've been conning them. Just conning them, fighting no one. Fighting I, I, let's let's have a look at the start Russia. of your career. The start of your career, we all start the same. We all box the usual suspects. I'm stepping up to the plate. I'm taking a big fight in my hometown. So, deserve respect for that. And I'm going to show you. I'm giving you all the respect for that. I'm giving you all the respect in the world. I respect anyone who steps into the ring. Oh, come, of course. Fi come fight night. You're going to realise maybe you should have took this fight in a few years' time. Well, look, I'm confident. My team are confident. And we'll see, won't we? Yeah, we will. Okay. <laughs> very good, very good. I say, who needs who needs Broner and Malignaggi when you got Coyle and Matthews? It's unbelievable. Um, just to tone it down a little bit now, we're going to go over to the number one ranked welterweight in the world, Kel Brook. Kel, back. We've been Sheffield Arena for a long time now. Now you're outdoors at Hull, just 45 minutes up the road from you, depending on how fast you drive. And uh, I know you can't wait to get back in there. I can't wait to get back in. It's a great card. Can't wait to see the, these two. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, you know, last last past few months has been absolutely the worst worst thing I've ever had to go through in boxing. Um, with a Devin Alexander fight, but you know, I'm onto a new chapter now in boxing. We, we we've got a plan. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be boxing on this on this bill against Carson Jones. If you if you've seen the last one. It was very exciting, so that's why we had to do it again. I just can't wait to get back in now. It's been 10 months. Um, you know, I can't wait to get back in and have fun, fun on the night. I'm looking forward to it. It's a great card, open air. Luke Campbell making his debut. Um, I can't wait. And going back to that Carson Jones fight, I remember, you know, you had some problems in your preparations, but I remember after six rounds looking at you and thinking, please get through this fight. And, you know, you were standing there after 12, having won probably 9 and 11 out of nowhere. And I remember being back in the, uh, you know, the dressing room with you, and then obviously we had to go and get checked out as well. And that was the wake up, but this is a chance to put that right because I don't feel that was the real Kel Brook in the ring that night. And I think he'll be buzzing off the chance to beat you again. And I think you're gonna try and make a statement. Yeah, I'll be definitely making a statement in that fight. Uh, obviously in that fight, I did the weight all wrong. Uh, I've got a, a new team on board, you know, a nutritionist, a strength and conditioner. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I put things right in this fight. The first, the first four or five, six rounds you've seen in that fight, 
I'll be able to do that all the way through. But I'm making a statement. I, w uh, I want to get rid of Carlton Jones, and I will get rid of him before before the the distance. But it's gonna it's gonna be a, it's gonna it's gonna be a great night. It's gonna be fireworks. I'm very excited about just getting back in and uh, you know taking out on Carlton Jones. I can't wait to take it out on him. Good man. And uh, finally, Luke. Not long now, three weeks, so much has happened in your life, obviously. The gold medal, the MBE, and of course, more importantly, dancing on ice. And, um, you know, having seen you this week, three weeks ago, you're looking as though you're, you're almost ready now. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's, um, 13 years I've been boxing now, and um, within them, I've probably had about two weeks off, you know, so I had a nice rest after the Olympics, done a couple of new things, but I've come back into boxing with a fresh man, fresh body, and um, new goals are set in place, and I'm raring to go. You know, I can't wait for July 13th. It's going to be uh, really exciting. You know, we've got our boys from Hull. You know, there's a lot of talent in Hull. You know, I'm I'm overwhelmed to be on the same card as you know Kel Brook. What a, what an amazing fighter Kel is. I'm a big fan myself. You know, so I want to watch that myself. So if there's a TV in the changing room or something like that, you know, I'm watching it because that's going to be uh, an exciting fight as well as Derry, you know, I've been watching that guy on TV as well, um, in, in his fight, it's very exciting, you know, it keeps you on the end of your chair, which is fantastic, just what the boxing fans want, but not only boxing fans as well, I'm surprised and um, overwhelmed how many um, family tickets that are, you know, that are going out as well, and the young kids that want to come and watch and support, and, you know, it's great getting pictures with them and stuff like that, and then they want to come and see your box, and it's fantastic, so... That, that in itself, you know, for the family area to come into um, Craven Park and watch us is, is, is great. You know, I'm, I'm really happy about that. And, you know, I've been training hard. I've been getting myself about. I went to New York a few weeks ago, um, taking myself out my comfort zone, sparring out there. And I was in uh, Essex all last week, tr training with uh, Kevin Mitchell and a few of the other lads down there. So, it's, you know, I'm getting experience. I'm learning, you know. Obviously new to the pros, but you know I'm I'm, uh, I'm learning each step of the way, and I want to put a, an exciting performance on for everyone who comes July 13th. Thanks, Luke, and I just want to um, relay my thanks as well to the the whole council who have been a huge help in helping us put this event on. Carl Turner there, and Mitch, and and the whole of uh, the council because it's so refreshing to come to a town where you know we get the response like we're getting from Hull. And like I said, this is a, a special card, not just for Hull, but for British boxing. And we're going to witness the beginning of a journey for, I believe, of a future world champion from Hull. So spread the word and um, tell everybody about July the 13th at Craven Park. It's going to be a great night. We're going to be live and exclusive on Sky Sports HD, broadcast all over the world, more than 12 countries live. We're showcasing Hull. We're showcasing Luke Campbell. We're showcasing the very best of British boxing. So thank you very much for your attendance. We're going to be doing a photo call up here now and then that famous head-to-head -head between Derry and Tommy, which will definitely be interesting, worth hanging around for. And then um, a few of the guys are going to be out in the square going through their paces, um, getting their final preparation for July the 13th. So thank you very much. Honestly, your support means everything. And uh, we'll see you on July the 13th. Thank you very much.